Peggy 18. Are you ready to get your arse handed to you? I come from a corkman, is it? Yeah. Won't be the first time a corkman handed your arse to you on your plate. Oh, look at the record. I think we're a couple of heady. Uh, you you small number of All Ireland medals, I believe. Just the six. Just one or two is all. Yeah. Uh, well, which one was the highlight, would you say, for you? Uh, it's, it's definitely the one in 2006. It's, it was my first one, uh, but also I was captain in 2006. It was, as I say, Kilkenny had a couple of bad years. Cork had taken over the hurling scene it, and, uh, you know, met Cork in the final and no one really gave us a chance. Uh, just the feeling of emotion when the final whistle went and you're standing in Croke Park with 82,000. Days like this, you dream of a young lad. I suppose the final whistle went, and you just get this, this feeling and emotion in your body. You're, 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 on, you're in Crow Park, and people ask me, "Was it like to, uh, to win All Ireland?" I suppose you can't really describe. It. The only feeling like it's, like it's a, it feels like if you got on top of the Hogan stand and jumped off Crow Park, you could fly. It's that kind of a feeling, really. Yeah. Um, and then I just remember going just before I was going up the Hogan stand, the steps of him. I met my father at the steps, and you know, would have been a big hurling man, and brought me to games as a young man, and just. I suppose embracing him and finally achieving the ultimate ultimate dream. Um, it was a special moment and one I'll, I'll never forget. And you know, five minutes later I was up the steps collecting the cup and I could I could still see him at the bottom of the steps, uh, tears rolling down his eyes and I'll never forget that as long as I live.